Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com and as part of our Windows Phone 7 basic how-to's, we're going to show you how to navigate Windows Phone 7. So got yourself a new Windows Phone 7 device and the only thing you can get it to do is be a paperweight and play dead. Well, as part of our Windows Phone 7 basic series, let's see if we can get you familiar with this interface and make your Windows Phone 7 experience run a lot smoother. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice about your Windows Phone device is that it has these three physical buttons down at the bottom. One is Back, Home, and then Search. Back takes you literally back to the last page or the last app you were looking at. Home takes you directly to this home screen you see. And Search takes you directly to their Bing Search. Uh, or search within any of the apps. So for example, if you're in the market and you hit search, it'll search the market. If you're in text and you hit search, it'll search the text, etc. Okay, now the lock screen on Windows Phone is a little different too. You swipe upward in order to unlock the device. And once you do swipe upward, you'll be greeted by this home screen. Now this home screen uh, is scrollable up and down. Uh, and you can pin a bunch of different apps and stuff, but we'll get to that later on here on the home screen, you can also swipe to get to all of your apps. So this is the list of all the apps that are available on your device that you've downloaded, etc. Swiping back brings you back to there. So this panoramic layout that you see where you swipe left and right is visible throughout the entire OS. So even third party apps use this as well. So you see how the word games up here at the top isn't finished? It means I can swipe to the right to get more, 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 etc. Okay, another thing you're gonna notice is the status bar up here at the top, which, as you can see, auto hides itself. Um, to bring it back, you double tap up there at the top, and it brings back the status, which will show you signal strength, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whether it's on vibrate, battery, and the time. The time is always present, uh, but those other icons will disappear after a second if you don't double tap to bring them back. Okay, now next up we have uh, these widget-like things on our home screen called live tiles. So some of these are live tiles and some are just icons. Uh, an example of a live tile would be, say, this HTC uh, Hub live tile. So this actually brings information to you without you having to click on the app to figure it out. For example, we know that it's 67 degrees and it's cloudy here in New York. Um, other things are icons, for example, the Internet Explorer icon, uh, Maps, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Now all of these can be moved around, so if you hold down on any of them, you can pull it up and put it somewhere else. Uh, you can also remove them entirely, like so. Okay, so in addition to pinning apps to your start, you can also pin contacts. So if you hold down on that and click pin to start, it's gonna now put that contact uh, just like any of the other icons here on your home screen. And now you can quickly click on those people and get to their Facebook, whatever. Also, this will also display their latest Facebook status. So it is a live tile, not just an icon. Okay, and since this is a very apps-oriented operating system, like say the iPhone, Android, etc., um, the other thing you need to know how to do is how to get more apps. So you would head down to the market And from here, you can select different categories. For example, apps. And you see they're featured apps uh, or more categories. Now you can section it down, travel, navigation, social, productivity, etc. Uh, and clicking that will then give you a list of the top apps in that category. The new apps, if you swipe. The top free apps. Now you can simply click on any of the apps that you want to try and click install. Once you do download your new app, it'll show up here in your app list in alphabetical order and you simply touch it to launch it. Now you can also, as we said before, hold down on it and pin it to the start. 
and launch it from there. That's it. So as you can see, uh, Windows Phone 7 is a very intuitive and simple OS. Uh, and once you get the basics of navigation down, you can pretty much handle anything it throws your way, thanks in large part to the consistency of the panoramic layouts, use of the same buttons, etc. Uh, so hope that helped. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and how-tos for Windows Phone 7 at our basic how-to section located at the top of the site by clicking on how-tos, then basics, then Windows Phone 7.